everyone. Linkara is joining us tonight for this is our 23rd anniversary tonight, dude. Is it? Yep. 23 years. You did not tell me that it was a big anniversary night. Well, it didn't occur to me at the time when I asked you to help out. For those of you who are watching this on the YouTube, uh, Tara is still recovering from cancer surgery, but it went well. She's doing fine. She just needs to rest and get her strength back. And Lewis is helping us out here for this uh, this one more one more go, and then hopefully we'll get things back to semi-normal around here. Yes, let us, let us enjoy the stories of people being silly for the 23rd year in a row. Well, I haven't been doing what the f for 20, but that's been about like 17, something like that. But I've been doing this show for straight up when back when it was audio only started off back in 2000. I was straight in the year 2000. Remember that in the year 2000. Remember how full of hope and joy we were. I remember pets.com. That, that's what I remember. Amazon just sold books. Google could still... If you type something into Google, you could actually find something. <laughs> uh, I was still using Alta Vista at the time because I like I was so used to it. Nice. Bass Jeeves, man. <laughs> uh, oh, my, my, I mean, what do you got for us tonight? Well, we'll get to it in a second. First, this is Linkara, everyone. and You should know. Uh, does Everyone should know me in despair. Yeah. <laughs> Cause comic book reviews and streaming among other things. He's a very cool fellow. I've known him for oh my god, dude, it's been at least thirteen years now. Oh my god. But this this week, um Twitter decided well, Elon decided on a one of his manic episodes to suddenly rebrand everything as X. Hey, which is a whole lot of fun considering people like Lewis and I have run our own websites that have little icons and links that go back to our social media. You know what I'm going to do? What? I'm going to keep calling it Twitter because that's what it is. I still have a, if you're, a, if you're on the site tonight, I've got a widget over there for Twitter that, that they just said, we're not going to let you use that anymore. Why? It links back to you. Why would you... I still have yet to deal with it. I'm like, you know what? <laughs> okay. I'm saying Twitter. It is what it is. I I follow in his, his childish desire to recreate his PayPal time. They want to call it a Z. So it's... I know that's what they want. I, I know the uh, council has decided, but, 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 we, but since it's a dumbass decision, we have decided to ignore it. Yeah. Because you know, over on, on Blue Sky, we call him Skeets. At least Skeet is a word. It's a terrible word, but at least it's a word. What the yeah. f is Zeke? It's mostly there just to, just to make fun of the fact that it's that, that Blue Sky is mostly just Twitter. Yeah. Mostly. mostly. I'm still rooting for Foundable. It ain't going to happen, but damn it, they got their, they've got their theming on point. They've got a whale theme. Uh, you, you spout off. You, you have a spout. Echoes are, are retweets. The only problem is that well, there's a few problems, but the big problem is that is that the is that the weirdo in charge, the weirdo billionaire in charge of, of Spoutable wants no not safe for work content on it yeah. whatsoever, and that is and that is ridiculous. That if was loud. I think that would be the mass adoption. Yeah, but they, that was the kiss of death for it. Yep. All right, let's get this underway. At least this is normal. Uh, I don't know. Big quotation. Each week, Catherine, the Radio Dead Air audience, bought the worldwide interwebs, find all sorts of horrible stuff. Bring it back here for a little segment we like to call. What the fuck, bro? Tonight, this is the. This, there are some times when the real world and my show, news wise, sort of intersect inescapably. I could not get away from this story because this is the one that everyone sent me this week. Well, one of them. Oh, um, you might, maybe you've heard of this one, maybe you haven't, but, uh, so they were bringing home a, uh, U.S. soldier who was facing some minor charges from South Korea, and he, he did something we still do not understand. 
U.S. soldier reportedly laughing when crossing the border in South Korea, North Korea. You didn't, you didn't hear about this? I did not. Oh, my God. It is, it is a thing happening. Let's talk about that. Get it over my screen properly. Oof. Oof, damn you. There you go. Um, a U.S. soldier who, shoulder, a U.S. soldier who crossed into North Korea while on a tour group after escaping military detention was laughing as he fled over the inter-Korean border. U.S. and Korean officials identified the soldier as private second class Travis King. King, 23, was being held in custody by South Korea at the airport in Incheon, near Seoul, uh, in the process of being expelled when he fled. After passing through airport security, he unexpectedly joined a tour group to the Korean border village of uh, Han Mujo. Oh, it's not hard to say. A uh, popular tour spot inside the demilitarized zone. The tour later told CBS News that King, who was reported to be in civilian clothes, gave a out out aloud ha 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 and just runs between some buildings. Now, what was he going back? It was like minor charges. He had an assault charge that was not a big deal, but he had some other like little ones that he had to be processed for, but he's being expelled from South Korea. He was in trouble. But this is like, you know, getting a ticket for littering and and becoming a supervillain. The fuck are you doing? How screwed up are you? What? What was he? Lewis is speechless. He's going to North Korea, and then what? What's step two? Right? What What the fuck do you do next? What? What is making... How is your situation improving by going to Northern to Kaku? You are illegally cross the border into one of the most repressive countries on the face of the planet. How is your civilization? In, I mean, how is your situation improved at all? <clears throat> Why is it so easy to cross between the two borders? It shouldn't be. That's all. That's kind of surprising, too. I mean, a border is a long damn thing, but it's a border with North Korea. Yeah, you'd think the North Koreans would be would be a little more militant about about, about potential crossings, of considering right on uh, you know it's 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 a it's a town that borders it. They were probably as surprised as we are. Just kind of stared like, "How's he doing?" <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna do no, don't, don't don't sound the alarm. I want to see how this plays out. <laughs> Let him cook. <laughs> Do we shoot him or shh? Sh- this has never happened before. We got to see what happens. It's like a fucking Richard Attenborough thing. Fucking watch this. He's been here for like, for like 10 hours a day. This is the most interesting <laughs> thing that's happened in weeks. <laughs> oh my God. Just the, the fucking hell. I, 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 the only other joke I was going to make about this is like, do you like Captain Picard? Did he suddenly get stabbed through the back and just started laughing inexplicably? <laughs> uh, so, I mean, that, anything that could happen back in U.S. custody could not be worse than what he's going to... He's Now he's created... A, there's an international incident. They don't have to go through these archaic mechanisms for military communication with North Korea right now. To try to figure out what the fuck they're going to do. I mean, is he now in the custody of the North Koreans? Like, everybody right now is like... Well, he, the funny thing is, the way they're presenting it is... The North Koreans are like, what do we do? And we're like, I don't know, what do we do? I don't know, what do we do? <laughs> they give the border and hand them back to us and, and you know... Maybe we'll give you a North Korean prisoner or something like that, but I don't know. Just... So now, now it, even if they does come back to America, now this has escalated so far fucking beyond what he was charged with. He has created an international incident. This motherfucker is going in history books now. This ain't, this ain't, this ain't, you know, some petty assault charge. Like, this is like, what, general court-martial? Probably, probably military prison? Yep. You are. F-U-K-T. Well, speaking of other, like, large news that keeps intersecting, 
You remember the Tide Pod shit, right? When the news was all like crazy about, hey, the kids keep eating the Tide Pod. I'm making a big deal out of a thing that wasn't really a thing. Well, this is actually a thing. And I'm, I'm like, did this become a TikTok trend and I don't know about it? This is the third week in a row we've covered this. This is the third time it's happened. More tourists caught defacing Rome's ancient Colosseum. You're just joining us on this one, Lewis. Two weeks ago, 27-year-old dude went into went to the wall, one of the walls of the Colosseum and scratched Ivan and Haley, 23, for his him and his girlfriend. And his defense was, I didn't realize how old it was. Then we go to Japan, and there's an ancient temple there, and some 17-year-old kid wanders off and starts scratching his name on some shit in the thumbnail. Everybody's under arrest. So now, once again, two more tourists have been caught, apparently defacing the Colosseum in Rome. On Friday, a 17-year-old girl from Switzerland spotted apparently carving her initials into a wall of the building by a tourist guide. The very next day, a 17-year-old student from Germany was caught allegedly doing something similar. Both teenagers risk up to a fine of up to $16,000 and five years in jail. What the fuck is happening? The linear on this group <laughs> is like. Like, there's, for, for fuck's sake, what are you doing, kids? Look, I get, I get a 17-year-old being incredibly stupid. Uh, making a terrible, terrible mistake. But it's, 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 it's the over 20-year-old uh, that get, that, that, that get me. Because at that point. You should know better. Why do you even think this was? I don't know. I just, I thought we went to. I didn't know, I didn't know it was that old. Was, I, I thought maybe it was under construction. Is is it art? Was it a Banksy? Is this a Banksy? Is this? Do you think this is like the Confederate statues that were only made like 40 years ago? <laughs> Why do you think you're here, son? But yeah, now it's now it has become a trend. Now, now it is something the youth are doing. And even just look, I know there's not. I, I know there's less trees around because we're destroying the planet. But there's got to be another structure you could carve your initials into. Park benches and fucking you know railings or just something. We need to, no, we're going to go to the ancient fucking monument and fuck it up. Five years in jail, you dumb little shit. Someone someone heading to the, to the Gleaning Tower of Pisa? Dude, I got a great idea. The Ocho in the, the chat says, uh, the only surprise is that none of them are American, right? I mean, well, that's another surprising part of this whole thing. Kind of stunned here. <laughs> We're just kind of used to our our level of idiocy across the world. It, it's weird to see other to see see citizens of other nations being as dumb as we are. Aaron Dammit says, "Carve your initials in billionaires." I mean, and I'm waiting for us to hear like a Saw type film that's just nothing but billionaires. We'll see. To be fair, uh, <laughs> Saw in, in the sixth Saw movie, he he kidna- they kidnapped the head of an insurance company. And made him go through the uh, and made him go through the elaborate test of uh, of of means of like oh who gets to su- you get to choose which of these two people get get you know survive and thus get their insurance. It's like uh, just just to prove you're full of crap. Well, now I like small movies. Let's just let's just get let's just get Elon in there. That'll be fun. all right. Moving on along, um. We have all done some really stupid things at a job, way or another. 
There are varying degrees of it. We've all done some stupid things. But there is compounding the error, and then there is compounding the error. I don't respect people who are bad at, at if you're going to go into something being really deceptive, I don't respect you if you're very bad at it. This person is incredible. A former Arapahoe County social worker accused of falsifying medical records. Now you're like, what? Wait for it. It's from Denver. Uh, Robin Seta, a former Arapahoe County social worker on trial for a false report of child review, is now facing new charges after allegedly faking a brain tumor to avoid a criminal trial. During the Kenneth's trial in March, she filed documents claiming she had been diagnosed with a glioblastoma on her brain, making her competent to proceed with the trial. The indictment said that the chief deputy district attorney, Daniel Cohen, looked further into the claims and called the doctor on the file named Dr. C. Marquez at New Mexico Oncology. He spoke with someone claiming to be the doctor, but CDDA was unable to find a licensed doctor in New Mexico with that name. Do you ever watch Supernatural? Nope. There was a bit that the hunters did like, they, they would show up to, to hunt supernatural things in town to town. So they had a guy who was stationed in one place with a bunch of phones. And anytime they claim, like, we're the FBI, I'm like, I'm going to check that out. And he'd look at their card, and he'd call the number, and the guy sitting in the place would answer the phone and pretend to be the fucking FBI. You're doing a bit from Supernatural! You're doing a fucking bit from a TV show! What gets me is the you're already on trial for for falsifying records. So let's so dig up, stupid. It gets worse. After conferring with a Denver Health Medical Center doctor, Doctor Coral Steffi found the medical records included typos, and the MRI scans were identical to MRI images found on the internet. She Googled brain tumor and took the first picture. (laughs) Oh, my God. You know, I'm old. (laughs) You always... What is the the number one way we keep catching criminals is their own sheer laziness. Yeah. This, this, they put in no work into this. They made a Facebook page and she had her friend pretend to be a doctor. I mean, mean, credit where it's due for trying to create the false records, but like, you like, oh man, this is going to take me all night. I got to get up early. Ah, they're not going to check. You, you you are doing as badly as a high schooler with a plagiarized essay. Like, you, like, you fucking got AI to write your shit or some shit. In a find replace search on a few words. Uh, Judai Eldridge, you stole someone else's brain. Yeah, you kind of did. That's fucked up. Probably yeah. didn't have one to begin with. God damn. And, and she was already... She was already in trouble for um, fi- yeah, filing a false report that an Aurora councilman woman, da- uh, Danielle Jarinski, was abusing her child. So she was already in a heap of fucking trouble. Hmm. And now... Oh my God, fuck you, jail. Compounding it, because now you're trying to... Because now you're trying to... Because now you're pissing off the judge. Do you know what judges love? It's when you file false evidence. They love that shit. It it's just really adore it. It's it's the best a, thing you could possibly do for your for when you're on trial for falsifying records. Right. It's just it's like, you know, you're going with a theme, they'll appreciate it. <laughs> uh, speaking of uh criminals who are not quite understanding the assignment. This has got to be, yeah, this one just, I was rolling for a while when I read this one earlier today. This one, here. Oh, this would be good. Oh, yeah. 
Lancaster man charged after stealing three cakes with his face printed on. Sort of I gotta say it. Ash. I gotta say it. Go ahead. And that's terrible. <laughs> I love this guy, though. A 24-year-old Lancaster man is charged after allegedly stealing a number of items, including three cakes. Uh, please say 24-year-old Dakai Anthony Jackson picked up three cakes from the bakery counter. Also several other items, including canned goods, small package of cupcakes, blah, blah, blah. Jackson then allegedly went through the South checkout and only scanned the box of chips and cupcakes, which totaled $13. According to police, Jackson failed to scan the remaining island items, including three cakes, which totaled $90. Uh, police say a witness told them the person who ordered the cake was the same person in the photo printed on the cakes and they had not been paid for online. So I hope they used this photo. Uh, I, 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 I hope that this is the photo he used for his cake. I think this might have been one of those after photos. Uh, fucking hell. You fucking... Like, okay, they're never going to figure out it was me. Quick, hide! <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, guys, I've got a great idea for a Halloween costume this year. <laughs> like, you know, it's, he's going to, who are you going to say? No, no, I didn't steal him. Some other guy, that guy stole him. Why is your face on the cakes? I don't know. Well, I mean, it's such a beautiful face. Why would you not want to share this with everybody? Damn, man. The fight, like... I want my criminals to get caught. I want my criminals not to be fucking up the way, you know, stealing from other people or hurting other people. I like them to get caught. But goddamn, do they have to be... When they are dumb, it feels like a mirror of society to me. It makes me kind of like... Am I really smart? I don't know it. See, uh, what I love about this is that it cures imposter syndrome. Oh, yeah. Like, you're like, how did a social worker get away with it? You would be surprised. This. How'd they get away with it? They didn't. People pull this shit all the time. Uh, now, I will at least give the next one. I'll give them credit for trying. Um, and they still haven't caught him yet, but I, something tells me, ah, uh, they're, they're going to close in on these fellas really quick. Uh, here we go. <clears throat> Thieves attempt ATM heist by dragging the machine away with a stolen utility truck. I'd like to point out this is, this is a minor plot point in Southland Dales. Like We're going to take the ATM machine with us to Mexico. <laughs> Lake City, this is Florida, of course. Lake City police officers responded to a bank alarm just before 5 a.m. Florida, a Friday, found something <clears throat> noticeably missing. The ATM near the drive through The rip from, from its foundations and drag mark trailed through the parking lot and grass headed down the street. Shortly thereafter, another officer spotted a, spotted a white utilities truck Headed north just a few minutes away on uh, Bascom North Avenue, dragging an ATM behind it. Officer tried to pull the truck over. The two people inside ran off into a wooded area. Uh, despite an all-hands-on-deck on search, the two have not been found. FBI is assisting with the scene. See, that's, that's the first thing. Number one, when you fuck with the banks, the FBI is there. Immediately. Oh, you don't fuck with the money. Fucking with my money is like fucking with my emotion. Um, and secondly, how the trail is just killing me here. As you can see, there it goes off in the wood, right? You could, it's not like they're hard to track. Like you're thinking about like, like when you're dragging it right behind you like this is a Fast and the Furious movie. They're even leaving tracks in the concrete because you're dragging metal along the fucking concrete. Yeah, well maybe next time the car the, the machine won't reject my card. <laughs> I just I just want to get my card back. It's got my card. I just want to get my card back, man. That's all. 
I just want to get back. Yeah, I'll give them points. They got away. I mean, they didn't, I mean, oh, they got I away, mean, but this is not their utility truck, and they didn't get away with the money, but they did evade the police, so. And now the, they, they evade the police, but now they have the FBI looking for them, because once again, yeah, you no. don't fuck with the bank. That's one of those things that they have to do something about because, you know, social order and yada, yada, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, she tell motherfucker. How is this, 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 what kills me about this and when this shit happens is someone sat down and looked someone else in the eye and said, I have. And that other person agreed with. Where did they get the utility? I don't know. That's a cherry picker, too. That that is. Was that like always part of the plan? Like 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 like, or they see the cherry picker first, and they're like, "Okay, step one." <laughs> was this like a spur of the moment thing? They were just out like, "I got Dave, Dave, dude, Dave." You thinking what I'm thinking? <laughs> okay. And it's just, ATMs don't even hold that fucking much, man. They got like what, ten thousand in there, twenty thousand. You're gonna be paying way more than that. Just enough, J- J- yeah. Just in the damages alone, crime in a hand basket. All right, last one this week. This is all right. What do we got? This is feels very video game lowest, and it's also Florida, North Florida. Is there, you know, in twenty in the in the, in the many years uh-huh. you've been doing, what the f is wrong with you? Yeah, has there been a week without a Florida story? Once or twice. Okay, but it's rare. It, it, it they are a regular feature here. God help us, they're a regular feature here. All right. This is I I I you know how they like what Jack Tom Jack Tom was it Jack Thompson or Jack Thompson whatever the fuck his name was. Okay. Thompson, you used to blame. Was it? They say you used to blame all the shit on the kids on the video games. Remember that? Yeah, that motherfucker. Yeah, that moron. And we always said he's full of shit. That, that's not. Um, maybe, maybe, just maybe. Sake of argument, he was on to something. Woman accused of impersonating firefighter after stealing fire truck. North Florida woman is accused of an unusual charge of impersonating a firefighter after she's accused of stealing a fire truck and trying to convince a passing deputy she was on the job. Okay, to be fair. (laughs) Grand Theft Auto existed before Grand Theft Auto. (laughs) There's a reason why it was called that. (laughs) But we can't play this on video games. The conversation happened Saturday, July 15th. The fire truck ran out of gas. Investigators learned the fire truck belonged to the Wellborn Volunteer Fire Department, which reported stolen around the same time the suspect ran out of gas. Uh, the Volunteer Fire Department chief allowed the suspect to spend the night at the fire station the night before. When he returned to the station the next uh, afternoon, he discovered the woman and the fire truck were missing. On the scene, the suspect called the fire chief and told him she had run out of gas. When questioned, the woman, 44-year-old woman, claimed she was a volunteer firefighter with Suwannee County. That's not how that works. When I'm volunteering to firefighting, and I'm in a truck. I'm a volunteer. <laughs> that is not how that fucking works. It's not. It's like, a- I've, got, I've got a uniform right here and everything. <laughs> A woman who lives volunteering. The woman who lives, lives in Wellborn did not offer an explanation for why she'd been driving the fire truck, but noted she left the keys in the truck's cab inside a blue cup. I put the keys over there. It's fine. It's fine. You, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm, I mean, who's gonna break into a fire truck and steal it anyway? Am I right? Fuck yeah. Oh, I fuck here to. I it's not like volunteer firefighter doesn't mean just like I'm gonna be a firefighter today. 
No, I volunteer. I volunteer as a firefighter, therefore I am a volunteer firefighter. It's in the name, Natch. It's in the name. <laughs> That's not how any of this works. Jesus. Oh, well, clearly it is because we got a volunteer firefighter running around in the truck. You have to imagine the deputy right there was just, no, I'm a volunteer fighter. Just trying for a minute. Just try to heard that. It's like his brain was trying to catch the fuck up with that. Like, what? <laughs> Impersonating a firefighter. I didn't know that had to be a law. Why does that have to be a law? Well, I think, uh, you know, uh, impersonating any emergency services person is like a felony charge, I'm pretty sure. Yep. But people in the chat are saying Tara would lose her shit. She, her dad was a firefighter. Firefighter chief. Oh, back. Right. Yeah, so. <laughs> That's right, she got back. I just this fucking hell. <laughs> Your logic, you know, like, it's like, it's not like. You, you can't, it's not like Star Trek. You can't talk a computer into exploding with your weird logic. It's, it doesn't work that way. No, no, no. It's, it's like in Ghostbusters 2 when they were impersonating, uh, uh, the construction workers. She's like, like, passing by the cops. I don't know what you're trying to do right now, but I got a fire over on Bay Do I got to get to. You better let me go right now. Oh, all right. So what have we learned? This week, 23rd anniversary. Well, first thing we learned is fake it till you make it doesn't work like that. This is not, it's not how, it's not how it works. You can't just be like, no, don't, as also dress for the job you want also does not work like that. We have learned that, uh, uh, that. Jumping on the border between Korea and North Korea and going, now I'm a North Korean, 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 is not a viable strategy for evading the law. <laughs> North Korea just makes everything worse, man. Um, we've learned that, you know, if, you're ju if, if your plan for a crime heist sounds like something you might see in Oh, I don't know. A Saturday Night Live spin-off comedy? Maybe don't do it. Maybe. Um, we had learned that declarations of love on 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 international monuments and historical sites might impress your girlfriend, but don't impress the authorities. No. No, oh, they're they're gonna yeah, that's We learned maybe if you're going to try to steal something, don't steal something that's already got your damn face on it. I think it narrows down the list of suspects. Another Simpsons clip there. Recording this crime spree was the greatest idea we ever had. <laughs> the last one we learned tonight. If you're going to fake a brain tumor, you got to put some work in. You can't just you go, go to Google, man. Kids these days, you... <laughs> this is to get your Googles and your AIs and you think you're hot shit. Have those YouTube tutorials. <laughs> That's an untapped market. Oh, shit. 